Hi everyone, I'm Robert Adut with yaymath.org. Uh, we are continuing our exploration into inverse matrices, uh, which is an Algebra 2 topic. And today, what we're going to do now is learn how to encode and decode messages so we could send secret messages to each other, encrypt them so that they be, remain secret, and then decrypt them so that we know what they mean. Uh, it's pretty interesting how this works. Um, I actually had to wrap my head around it over several years to just figure it out, and, uh, which is kind of good in a way, because when I learn it the first time, I'm trying to approach it from this most simple, basic way. So I'm going to offer it to you now, and I, I hope it works for you as much as it works for me. All right. First, we have to pick a message to encode. All right. So we're going to pick a message to turn into numbers and then make those numbers secret so that no one knows what they mean except us. And that message, of course, is yay math. We're going to do it. Y-A-Y -Y. math. Okay. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to assign digits to each of these letters. All right. There is a chart that you can look up or you can just do it intuitively um, in which like 1 is A, 2 is B, 3 is C, all the way down to the 26 letters in the alphabet is Z. All right. So each of these letters gets assigned a digit with it. Spaces are 0. All right. So now we're going to encode. We're not really going to encode. We're just going to represent. I'll, I'll tell you what encoding is in a second. We're going to represent yay math numerically. All right. That's not any code. That's just turning it into digits. Okay. We're going to go along by uh, two columns at a time. All right. Just two columns. So this is uh, what? 25. This is 1. This is 25. This is 0. I made a note to myself. M is 13. And then we're back to 1. And then you have 20 for T. And H is 8. All right? So this is Y, A, Y, space, M, A, T, H. All right, so now this is the numerical representation of the message yay math. Now we're going to turn it into our, our little secret. <laughs> I'll keep you my dirty little secret. <laughs> That's such a crazy song. Yeah. Yeah, all this stuff is like raining in my head. Uh, we have to pick a matrix to encode it, right? So whatever matrix that is, that's the stuff that we share. I like the numbers uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. I think that's simple. All right, so now we're going to, this is called the encoding matrix. It could be whatever we want, right? So the problem would say encode the message yay math with the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4. Or it could be any other matrix. But now we're going to turn this into our code. All right, so we need to multiply these two. Let's do it. Rows by columns. Rows, columns. Oh, yeah, let's see if it works first, right? Rows by columns. This is four rows by two columns. So that's four by two. This is a two by two, right? If these two numbers match, then they can multiply. And the result is these two. So the result will be another. 4 by 2 matrix. Let's go ahead and do that. 25 times 1 plus 1 times 3. That's 25 plus 3 is 28. All right, moving along. All right, more than these two. 25 times 2 is 50 plus 4 is 54. All right. Let's see if I can do this necessarily. I'll circle just the row at this point. I think you're, you're a pro. You can follow along with me. All right, so we got 25 times 1 plus 0 times 3. 25 times 1 plus 0, that's 25. 25 times 2 is 50 plus 0, that's 50. All right, take this off. Now let's even do it without the circling. All right, be a pro. Be a pro. All right, 13 times 1 plus 1 times 3. 13 times 1 is 13 plus 3, 16. All right, 13 times 2 plus 1 times 4. Right? 
I think we're going to go back to circling. Executive decision. There you go. So we can see it. 13 times 2 is 26. Plus 4, that's 30. And finally, take these off and encrypt the last row. 20 plus 24. 20 plus 24 is 44. And then you have 20 times 2 is 40 plus um, 32. 40 plus 32, I always look up like that, 72. 40 plus 32 is 72. This is our encrypted message. Only you and I know what this means, okay? And so if I sent this message to you, it's an encoded message. No one knows what it is, because if you were to turn these into letters, there'd be all these random letters. This doesn't spell anything. So this is encrypted. It's a code. Now, for you to decode it, you would need to know this so that you can do the inverse of it. So now that we've encoded the message, check. There you go. Now we're going to decode this message. And if we decode the message, we should get back to yay math. All right, let's do it. So this is what the yay math message is, uh, given numbers. And then we uh, calculated our invert, or excuse me, our encoded message. That was over here. So this is our encoded message. We're going to turn it back to our yay math so that if I sent this to you with the encoding matrix of the one, two, three, four, you'd be able to get this back. But in order to do so, we can't just multiply by the encoding matrix one, two, three, four. We have to multiply by the inverse of one, two, three, four. That way, once we multiply by the inverse of 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll get back to this, all right? So to encode the message, we take the original message and multiply it by the encoding matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4. To decode the, the message, we take the coded message, multiply by the inverse of 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we'll get back to this, all right? Let's try it. Let's get the 1, 2, 3, 4 and get the inverse of a 2 by 2. All right, if you recall, first we need to do is get the determinant. So the determinant is 4 minus 6 is negative 2, right? Multiply these two. Subtract, multiply these two. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. And we do 1 over the determinant times. We do some flipping. Remember, we swap the 1 and the 4. We put 4 and 1 here. Swap those two. And then make those two negative. Negative 3, negative 2. And then we distribute the negative one half within there. So if we distribute the negative one half within there, we are going to get, let's put it in like a different color here, the inverse of one, two, three, four. The inverse of the encoding matrix is negative two, um, positive one, right there. This is 1.5, and this is negative 0.5. All right, so we multiply by the inverse of the encoding matrix. So now this is the encrypted message I sent you, secretly, clandestine. I gave you the encoding matrix as well. You did the inverse of it. Now you should be able to decode what this message is. If you decode it, hopefully we'll get yay math back as our answer. Let's multiply this as our final act. Here comes. All right, here we go. I hope it works. 28 times negative 2 is negative 56. All right, please work. Please work. It's always possible that it won't. All right, here we go. All right. So that's negative 56. I'm going to put it in. Negative 56 plus. One and a half of 54, so that's 54 plus 27. So that's plus 54 plus 27. That's one and a half of 54. Um, all right, that would become negative uh, 56 plus 54 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 27 is 25. Yes! 
<laughs> right. Yeah, negative 2 plus 27. 25. Crushed it. 25, right? So we're getting back. That's our y. Let's do a couple more. We don't need to do the whole thing. Just to verify. All right. So that is 28 times 1 minus half of 54. Right? It's 0.5 times 54. So again, that's 28 minus half of 54 is 27. 28 minus uh, 27 is 1. All right, cool. We'll do one more row. And the message is starting to come to light. So next time when I send you this encoded message, please, Russia, if you're listening, just, just get it, okay? Just get this. <laughs> Oh, man, the freedom is awesome. <laughs> oh, I can make any joke I want. <laughs> That's awesome. But seriously, encode this. I'm being sarcastic. All right. <laughs> this is negative. I'm being sarcastic, seriously. Negative 50 plus 1 and a half of 50. So negative 50, 1 and a half of 50 is 75. Negative 50 plus 75 is 25. Don't need it. All right, and one more. Do one more. Yeah, I want to get that zero. That'll be cool. So that's 25 plus half of 50. Negative is negative 25. Zero. It's working out. Okay. So just to sum up, once again, I know I've said it already. If you want to encode a message, you turn your message into numbers, right, related to the alphabet and pick some sort of encoding matrix, a two by two matrix. The encoding matrix that we used was one, two, three, four. When you multiply this by one, two, three, four, you got your code, this one. This is mumbo jumbo. This means nothing except to us. If you want to decode this message, you multiply it by the inverse of the encoded matrix or the encoding matrix, okay? You multiply by the inverse of this, which we calculated as this green thing. And now if you multiply the, the encoded message times the inverse of your 2 by 2, you'll get back to the message that you so desire. All right? So now we can t talk in code. All right? This is actually pretty cool. I mean, anyone in the NSA can do this type of stuff uh, really easily. Like it's, it's like code breaking. All right? This is a great example of how to encode stuff. All right, I hope you found it interesting, and I hope it made sense. Thank you so much. Bye.